What's up guys welcome to our channel eTechnis. In this video we will talk about how to fix windows 11 black screen with cursor or we can say white screen with cursor. I will tell you the method which will surely help you to fix your problem so stay tuned and watch the complete video. Method 1. Open explorer.exe. Here you have to press some keys on your keyboard. On the left bottom side, you will see control key, the CTRL key, press and hold it down and then press and hold it down the shift key and then press ESC, the escape key. Once you'll do that, you'll see task manager in here. Click on file, click on run new task, type in here explorer.exe, select this option, click OK. Once you'll do that, you'll get your screen back to normal as it was. In most of the cases, this method helped to fix a problem. If it's not helping you to fix a problem, do not worry. We have some other method as well, which will definitely help you to fix this problem. Method 2. Restart your PC. In most of the cases, restart helped a lot of users to fix their problem as there was a minor glitch on their PC. So click on start. Click on power icon, select restart. Method 3. Login to different user account. Here you have to check you are getting this problem only onto your disk profile or you are getting this problem on your computer. For to do that, press and hold it down the control key and then press and hold it down the ALT, the alt key and then click on delete key. Once you do that, you will get all the options listed in front of you. Simply click on lock and afterward you'll see an option to change your login user account. Method 4. Restore. As you're getting a white screen or the black screen on your Windows 11 PC, so you can try to restore your Windows 11 PC to the back date when it was working perfectly fine. As you're not getting anything, so I'll show you every option through the task manager. So press and hold it down the control key, shift key. Press and hold it down and press escape ESC. Then you'll see task manager in here. Click on file, click on run new task. Type in here rstriui.exe. Select create this task with administrator privilege. Check this box, click on OK. You'll see restore system file and setting. Click on next. Then you'll see a list of options, the restore points. You can select the restore point and make sure there is an option to select show more restore point. Once you'll check that option, you'll see all the bunch of restore point listed in here. After selecting your restore point, click on scan for affected changes. Once you'll click on scan for affected changes, you can able to see a list or we can say a screen where you can see the changes and the effect gonna be processed after you restore your PC to the back date. After restoring, your problem will get resolved. If not, then try to go with method 5, uninstall unwanted program. For to uninstall unwanted program because of you getting this problem, you have to uninstall those programs from your Windows 11 PC. For to do that, you have to do the same thing. Press and hold it down the control key, shift key, ESC escape key. You'll see task manager in here. Click on file and click run new task. In here, you have to type control. Once you'll type control, select this option, check this box, create this task with administrator privileges and click OK. Once you'll do that, you'll see a screen like this. Click on programs, programs and feature and from here uninstall that program which is causing problem in your Windows 11 PC. Method 6. Registry Editor. Here you have to open a registry editor. For to open a registry editor, you have to type a command in a run option you have to do the same thing press and hold it down the control the CTRL key press and hold it down the shift key and the escape key you'll see task manager click on file click on run new task type in here reg 
add it. You will see a screen like this, registry editor, click on yes and you will see registry editor option in here. Once you will be on this option, make sure you back up all of your registry editor file. Or you can leave it as it is as well as you are getting a black screen but I would suggest you to back up all of your registry editor. For to backup, click on file, click on export, select desktop, type in here backup and save all of the file as in backup. After making a backup, you have to come to an folder, you have to click on H key local machine. In H key local machine, you have to search for software. Once you'll have a software, just click on it. Let me show you properly so that you can able to understand it. Let me scroll it up and here you can see once you'll click on HK local machine you have to search for software do a double click on software then you have to find for Microsoft do a double click on Microsoft and you have to scroll it down and you have to search for window NT once you'll have a window NT there is an another option you'll get in here current version once you'll have a current version, you have to search for another folder with the name of WinLog. So type in here W and scroll it down, you'll see WinLog. Once you'll have this folder, in here you have to search for an option with the name of Shell. Here you have to check if the data name is coming up as an explorer.exe or is it coming up different name in here. If it's coming up different name, then double click on shell and change the value data to explorer.exe. Afterward, click OK and restart your PC and this will fix your problem for sure. So that's all for today. I hope our method helped your black screen with cursor on Windows 11 or we can say white screen with cursor on Windows 11. Thanks for watching. Meet you in the next video.